BenQ Screen Bar is an e-reading lamp that goes on top of your monitor to add a bit of extra lighting in the evening so your desk isn't so dark. So in this video, let's open up the box, take a look and see what it's all about. So this is the box for the Screen Bar Plus. On the front we just have a product image. And then on the back side, we just have some mounting instructions and sort of just a basic setup guide. So let's slide this open and see what's inside. So inside the sleeve, we have the main box itself. <clears throat> and if we lift this up here, then we have the screen bar. So I'll take that out. I'll also take out this document here. I can't read any of this because it's all in Japanese, but it looks like a uh, registration form or a warranty form. So here we have the screen bar itself. Now there are three models of the screen bar. There's this screen bar here. There's also a screen bar plus and a screen bar mini. The only difference that I could tell between this and the Plus was that you would have an external controller versus having the controls on the bar itself. I didn't really think spending £30 extra just for having controls on the desk versus on the top of the screen was a big benefit. So the screen bar is quite light. I think it comes at around just over 500 grams in weight. And across the bottom here we have our LED array. So we have bicolor LEDs, so that lets us have a varied white balance of 2700 Kelvin, which is a really warm color, to 6500 Kelvin, which is basically daylight for white balance. So if you're familiar with sort of filming equipment, you'll sort of know that terminology and the bicolor LEDs and the white balance Kelvin. So that's the bar. Then we also have the mount. This has a bit of weight to it, big counterweight on the back here. Um, so this will fit on screens that are around one to three centimeters in thickness. And then finally, we have the USB power cable. I'll just pull this out because we don't need that anymore. And this is the cable here. This is a micro USB power cable, so it's not USB type C, but this doesn't really bother me as actually, once you've plugged it in, it's really set and forget. Um, so hopefully this cable has plenty of length to connect to my USB hub when it's on the top of my screen, but I imagine it will anyway. And that is all that's in the box. So let's get this out of the way. So this is the top <clears throat> of the screen bar itself. Let's just peel off this plastic. So we have a power button here. We have the dimmer and brightness adjustment. And this also works on auto dimming. So it has a light sensor here, which will adjust the light brightness to your room anyway. So you can override that if you want to. Then we also have hue adjustment and also manual dimming settings here. So that is the light bar itself. It feels really good. It's made of aluminium and a bit of plastic on the top here. I think this would have been nicer being matte plastic just because you're touching this and I think it's gonna get loads of fingerprints, but we'll see how that does. If you want me to do a sort of a follow-up video, let me know. And then here we have the sort of mount and counterweight. So let's peel this plastic off here as well. So that's that, that's very sticky. And this plastic is all matte black, so it looks good on top of a monitor. And this, I assume, just sort of slots in to the bar. So push over the top and then just slide that along. And there we go, that's mounted on the top. And I can already see fingerprints and smudges coming onto the light bar. So I'm not too sure on that glossy plastic choice but let's go and get this mounted onto my screen. So the screen bar is now on my display. It was easy enough to get set up and going. I just wanted to make sure that it was central to the display. And I also had to move my webcam to the left-hand side to make room for this. Some people have managed to mount their webcam on top, but for me, that wasn't really a practical solution, but it's not a huge problem. 
The USB cable gave me enough length to route it through the stand for my monitor, which was good. And if you don't have a stand, you'll probably have even more length. The controls on the top are easy to reach and my worries with the gloss aren't really an issue because I'm not actually going to see the glossy surface itself. So that's a non-issue for me now. And the light beam itself is also really good. The light is focused from the screen bar, so it doesn't actually shine on the screen itself. And you can clearly see sort of where this line hits on my desk. And you can angle the screen bar slightly in the mount to sort of fine tune this so it fits your display the best. So my initial impressions are pretty good on the screen bar. Let me know if you'd like me to make a follow up review that's a bit more in depth in the future. And I'll let you know my experiences with it since then. But that's been it for this video. If you liked it, please consider subscribing. I will leave a link to the screen bar in the description if you don't want to get one for yourself. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.